Dynamic search ads are a great way to gain additional volume through search campaigns outside of your regular sets of keywords. The traditional implementation is to upload your website into Google and have it crawl your pages to find automatic targets to go after, new search queries, it will automatically create an ad to go after that person. But what if you have some pages on your site that might not be a good fit for DSA? How can you control that? Usually you can create negative targets, but if you have a lot of pages that need to be excluded or should only be used in certain instances, DSA page feeds are going to be the best option for you. So today we're going to walk through how to set up a dynamic search ads page feed and how to use it to its best ability. To upload a DSA page feed, when you're in the Google Ads interface, you need to navigate to business data under tools. You'll see there is a data feeds header here, but when you do is click the blue plus button, scroll down to page feed. Here's where you'll be able to upload your file once you're done. I encourage you to download the page feed template so you'll know what information needs to go in the sheet and how you can use it. Let's take a look. Now that you're in the template, you can see that there are two columns for a DSA page feed. The first column, column A, is the page URL itself. This is where you'll upload all of the URLs that you have for your website that you want to use. I encourage you to start off by getting a sitemap to see what all URLs are actually eligible for DSA. Then you can start to weed out the ones that you want. Then you can see custom labels are in column B. Here's where you'll be able to set up labels, categorizations, different targeting options based on the URL in column A. There are also a couple of notes on formatting down here at the bottom to give you a little bit of insights, but let's look at a sample page feed that I set up just for today so we can talk through a couple different points. Here you can see that I have some sample URLs of the Paid Media Pros website in column A. These are not real URLs, don't try to go there. But each one of these shows you a different example of what the sitemap might look like. We've got the homepage, privacy policy, sitemap, and then some different YouTube video, LinkedIn video, and Google Ads video URLs. In column B, I have used the label to categorize whether I will or won't want to target them, as well as some different ways to segment the website itself that we can use later in targeting. So I just added homepage to the actual homepage. Privacy policy and sitemap aren't really a good place to send people from DSA campaigns. So I added a label that just says DSA exclude. You could easily just remove these lines of data if you want to and have them excluded from the page feed. But I like to leave them in here just so I know that they are included and specifically excluded from campaigns once I upload the page feed. I then have the YouTube, LinkedIn, and Google Ads video URLs categorized in a couple different ways. You'll see that they all have the channel name at the beginning, and then there's a semicolon in the middle, and then they all have videos. What this will allow us to do is set up targeting for any URL that has videos as a label as one collective target, so all three of these URLs will be categorized in that. Or I can target individual labels like just YouTube, just LinkedIn, that sort of thing. So we'll do an example of that here in just a minute, but once you have this set up with all the URLs that you need and different custom labels, save it as a CSV, and then we'll hop back into Google Ads and upload it. Once you're in here, simply choose your file. Give it a name. And hit apply. Now that we have our page feed uploaded, we want to make sure that our campaign will target the page feed and not the website itself. So in your DSA campaign that you want to use for this page feed, head over to the settings tab and scroll down to the dynamic search ads section. Open it up and make sure that in the select a targeting source section, you have use URLs for my page feed only chosen or use URLs from both Google's index of my website and my page feed. The default setting for DSA campaigns is to use Google's index of my website. If you don't change this, you won't be using your page feed because Google is not looking at it. So be sure that you have either the second or third option chosen here. Once you do, you'll scroll down and we have one page feed in here, but if you have multiple different page feeds for different brands or different websites, you can see all those added in here. 
Just click the checkbox next to the page feed you want to use and hit save. Now that we have page feeds chosen, we need to actually go set up our dynamic ads targets within our DSA campaign. So once you're in the ad group that you want to use, be in the dynamic ads target section of the interface, click create dynamic ads target. Here you can see that it is set up for the page feed because it recognizes that there is a page feed as the targeting for the campaign. You can set up custom labels from your feed, select specific web pages, exact URLs, or create URLs for the web pages to target. Or if every page within your page feed is an acceptable page to use, you can use the all web pages option down at the bottom, click it to the right, and then it'll show up over here. But for this example, I want to walk through how to use the labels that we created in the page feed. So let's uncheck that, head back up to custom labels from the feed. Here, based on what you put in the page feed, you can start to target the individual labels. So we talked about the videos label as well as the individual channels. So let's say I only want to target the YouTube channel. We can easily just type in YouTube, click add, and it'll show up on the right. We can then set a custom bid for that individual label target, let's say $1. If we want to then have a catch-all to target all video pages within our page feed, we can also set up a second custom label target for just the videos label. Click add, and it'll show up here on the right again. In this example, maybe we want to have as just a catch-all, so we set up the bid to be lower than just the YouTube piece since that's really the focus that we want. So we can set that up as 50 cents instead. Once we're finished setting up any of our labels, all of our targeting, simply scroll down, hit save, and you'll see individual lines with the targeting that you set up here. So you can still adjust your bids, you can then pause or delete targeting, and you can then see the performance data based on the individual targets that you set, even if they're at different levels, different bids, all that good stuff. Page feeds might take a little bit of extra time to set up, but they have a lot of additional benefits. It's easier to tell Google to simply go and crawl your website by just clicking that first radial dial, but you don't have quite as much control over which pages will and won't show. But the biggest benefit, in my opinion, is you can use those custom labels to really impact your targeting and bid strategies and ad strategies later on. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about setting up your page feeds and whether or not you want to use that or just have Google crawl your site. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 